Hi, it's Nancy Henley from Caring Kind, and I'm here today to talk to you about some kinds of activities that you might do with your person while you are all um, staying at home with this COVID disease. So um, please take these as suggestions. You're welcome to elaborate on them or make them more personal for yourself and let us know what you think, how things go, um, what you found out, what suggestions you might have for us for the future so that we can share more information with you. Thank you so much and thank you for taking care of people and taking care of yourself during this difficult time. So I'm back and I have my glue and I really suggest you have a glue stick because it can be difficult for people with dementia to work with glue, but if you don't have a glue stick at home, like I don't have a glue stick at home, we use glue and a brush, and you can even use tape. So, um, we have our Top Gear magazine, we have our notebook, and even if you don't have a, a plain notebook, you can use a regular loose leaf notebook because it opens flat, which is really good for this project because if you're trying to hold a regular notebook open, it's very difficult. So something that lays flat or even a piece of paper, like I said. So here we have top gear. We're gonna look through this with the person who has dementia. Um, Certainly you can use another kind of magazine than Top Gear. This was just the one that I found. In fact, what I used to like was working with uh, National Geographic magazines because they're so beautiful. So basically you're going to have the person choose a picture. Um, I use scissors with people with dementia. They were in middle stage and I was supervising them. Uh, I happen to have safety scissors here. Uh, Check it out, see how your person does with a pair of scissors because a lot of people cut just fine with a pair of scissors, did not cut themselves, did not use the scissors as any kind of a weapon. So uh, check it out, see if your person can use scissors and then allow them to cut something out. You might want to tear it out of the, the magazine first. It makes it just a little bit easier. And then depending on the person's skill, you know, they may be able just to cut out the uh, the rectangular shape, you know, and tidy it up maybe if they feel like it. But many people, and I, I for some unknown reason, I really don't know why, uh, people with dementia like to cut things out. So um, you can have them cut out coupons. If you get any kind of a flyer, you can have them cut coupons out. You can have them go ahead and cut something from a magazine like this, choosing whatever they like to do. And um, so you'll find, the thing is that like, I'm doing all these activities and I really get into them. I, I myself really enjoy using my hands and uh, it's hard for me to, uh, to quit. When I, you know, when I, when we go on to the next project, um, it's hard for me to quit because I kind of really want to go on and on. But uh, so here, the person cuts this out, this lovely car. I don't even know what kind of car this is. And um, you know, y you can just have them use a little bit of glue. You don't have gobs and gobs of glue because that becomes a problem. Um, and so there's this lovely little blue car that we're going to paste into this notebook. Bang. And then, you know, if they want to say something about the car, if they say, oh, you know, I used to have a blue car like this, then you can write that in there or you can ask them to write it in there. So this becomes kind of like a, a journal for them. Um, and Everyone that I had in, in the day center did one of these books, some of them, you know, more successfully than others, some with uh, maybe only one color objects because that's what they chose to do. Others, you know, kind of almost a story, but it's great. 
they're choosing, they're cutting, they're gluing, they're writing something about this maybe or talking to you about it. I do suggest you write it down if they're talking about it because then tomorrow when you look at this book, you can go over what they said, you know, and you'll have some kind of a conversation. This is also a really good conversation starter. If people don't know what to say to someone, you can put this down and then you can look at it together and talk about the stuff that they decided or chose to uh, put into the book. So this is a really good one. You can fill it up with whatever you like. If you want to use photographs, you can, if that makes a person feel good and comfortable. It's a good project because you can do it, you know, over days or weeks, if you like. You don't have to fill the whole book up in one day, obviously. And this one really works, so <laughs> please try it. I'm going to go on a little bit about, I'm going to go on and on, a little bit about <laughs> the scissors, be, sorry, because I found, you know, so many people really like to cut with the scissors, so I was thinking, well, what can people cut while they're at home, and and then I was thinking about how how much shredding people do these days. Um, yes, this is one I can shred. So I know some people are having, you know, they're not letting people open the mail because they hide it or something like that. But, you know, if you have a pile of junk mail, and we probably all have a pile of junk mail today, you can uh, ask the person to open the mail for you, you know. And then if you determine that it's not something that you really need, what you can do is you can ask them to shred it for you. You know, if you have a shredder, you can let the person know that somehow the shredder is not working and you need these things cut up so that you can have privacy. And um, you might find that the person is pretty occupied and happy to just cut this stuff up for you. And it might seem silly, but it does actually give some, someone something to do. So, on that note, um, what we can do also with puzzles and cutting uh, is we can, we can write up on a piece of paper some kind of... Uh, favorite poem or or even song lyrics so let's do hey jude we're going to do hey jude um you can do this with the person they can write if they can write um we'll do hey jude hey jude we can even sing while we're doing it don't make it bad oh i'm not going to do the whole song so don't worry bad and I'm gonna put like a little dotted line between these lyrics right so we all know what that dotted line means um, take a sad song and we're just gonna go and make it better and that's gonna be and make it better and you know, then you can dig up the old CD of the Beatles and throw it on there or you put it on your iPad. Okay, but here's the project because now we have a new puzzle, right? So we're going to tear this out of here. We're going to cut it on the dotted lines. I'll start at the bottom. Uh, there we go. And the person can cut this stuff, you know? And yeah, it's a good thing. So. We're going to have the puzzle, if you will, of Hey Jude. Just a little bit, not the whole song. If you want to do the whole song, fine. You know, if, if you want to do a prayer, fine. Something that is familiar to the person that they know very well, cool. So... 
Then I'm gonna move my camera and just show you because now we have a puzzle, right? We have the Hey Jude puzzle, it's four pieces, right? And we're gonna put it in an envelope so that we can bring it out tomorrow if we want to with all the other songs on our new shelf of songs. And uh, so we're gonna do this more puzzle work here. This, we're keeping it very simple, but you know, you can make it incredibly complex if you like, you can do, the Constitution, whatever. If you have stuff that's already printed up, awesome, you can cut it up, but if not, you know, you can write it with the person. This all takes time, but you know, it's time that you're spending with the person and that, you know, you're enjoying and engaging together doing this stuff, right? Once you have the puzzle, obviously, you can hand it to the person. They can sit and do these kinds of things for themselves. So I'll just move the camera again and uh, show you what we do here with Hey Jude. Um, where did it go, Hey Jude? So here we go. Uh, hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song it and make it better. Well, there we go. We have made a puzzle out of something very familiar and loving. There we go. All the things that I'm giving you are just basic ideas. Uh, you can take those ideas and run with them however you do. Um, please let us know at Karen Kind your own ideas. I'd be happy to share those with other people. Uh, you can call the helpline at 646-744-2900. That's 646-744-2900. Two nine zero zero, and give us your ideas and your feedback on this activities presentation. Thank you very much. It's Nancy Hendley from Caring Kind. Take good care.